What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the forest. It's time for another brief little walk through our lovely little sylvan setting, and unfortunately we have another setback, so whereas they may, I mean there is the distinct possibility that they may have fixed the saving, however, all of my items are now gone when I load my game, and so things we need to think about, oh my god, so I made the mistake of playing around with one of those air cans right before I started this episode, like I was spraying it upside down all over the place, and so now the entire room tastes distinctly like rubber and ass. And so unfortunately, if I stop at any point right now, and I'm just like, nya, nya, and I just start making noise like when your cat tastes something funny, it's because my mouth tastes like I just licked a tire or something. It is quite gnarly up in here, but I will say that one of the greatest things about working in IT was messing with my friends. See, it says that I have rocks, but I have no rocks. Like, it, I'm pretty sure this is quite bugged at the moment. Let's chop- also, all the trees are back. I just noticed that. None of the trees are chopped down. So that's gonna be another thing that we have to deal with. I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the spawns of the cannibals, but I think you and I both know how it's going to affect the cannibals. It's just gonna make them, like, come back or something. I don't know. Or there may actually be no cannibals here. Please pick up the rock the first time I tell you to do so. Yeah, things are a little bit screwy right now with the save system. Oh, yes! I just beat a tree to death with a rock. This is what living like a caveman is like. Caveman Simulator 2014. The forest. Mm. I'll break tree. I'll break tree with rock. Mm. Tree no say nice things about og. Og take revenge with blunt object. Og good. Tree bad. There we go. I'm not sure how much. Can you imagine chopping a tree down with a rock? That seems just like the ultimate exercise in mega in. Please start picking up rocks. So I get the distinct feeling that. Like, things are still in my inventory, they just aren't in my inventory the way that I think they are. Like, there's no rocks up here. So basically, I'm thinking that our game is completely and totally screwed. I'm not sure what to do about this situation. We're able to pick up sticks, weirdly enough. And in fact, we can exceed, normally you can only hold five sticks. But we're holding seven right now because the rules of the forest physics do not apply to us any longer. We have transcended. We have become the Neo of the forest. So I suppose in this episode we'll continue building the walls of our base. God, how many lizards can you fit in one tree? What is this, like a college lizard frat party over here trying to figure out how many they could fit in the phone booth or something? They don't have those anymore. That reference is no longer going to work properly. Phone booths do not exist anymore. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that things that existed when I was a child no longer exist. It's a vicious cycle. Well, I'm going to make the best of the situation, and since they appear to have deleted our entire inventory, who they is, I'm not really sure. There's some kind of evil CIA of the forest running around, deleting all of our items and making our lives difficult. I may be able, Can I beat a tree down with a stick? That would be impressive. Yeah, that doesn't appear to work either. Well, we're going to continue working on our base for a little bit today. Actually, we're sort of starving, so I should probably go figure out a food situation, too. Although, we do have a tree full of lizard. So, we could have a mouthful of lizard pretty soon if we really wanted to. I mean, I'm trying to say that as unpromiscuously as possible, but hey. You say what you gotta say when you're trying to work with the linguistic arts. And so, there goes our tree. Let me beat some of these lizards to death. You! Off of my tree. This is my tree. I claim it. And then we poke it with a stick for extra measure. Hey, let me loot you. Did I just pick up... God, so many things are weird right now. Come on, lizard. Work with me here. Let me loot you. Damn it. Alright, well the lizard won't be looted. He is not allowing it to happen. Although it says that... What? Okay, so the lizards get added to our inventory. It's just everything else that appears. Oh, no! So, painty face nudie man's homies have decided to show up. We need to cook ourselves dinner, though. Am I covered in blood right now? Am I covered in zablut? Oh, balls. They're back there, too. Okay, so we're going to evacuate this way while using the wall to break line of sight contact. And if they try to fight us, I shall wield the mightiest weapon of the forest. The arm of a tree. The limb, if you will. I shall beat them about the head, neck, and shoulder. What is this? It says it's edible. Shall I eat you? Ooh, little mushrooms. Nothing has ever gone wrong from this situation. I eat you, little mushroom. But why? 
This seems really unnecessary. Like, well, I'm sort of... They're behind me, aren't they? God, this game makes me so paranoid. I'm going to eat some blackberries to make myself feel better. Because our stomach is very, very empty. That actually might keep us going for another day or so if we can pull it off. That doesn't seem like a bad exchange. We actually put our base up while in a lot of ways... This does not seem to be the most beneficial setup being right next to the enemy base. With the way that they've designed the maps, the enemy base is typically... Oh, ass. Here comes the enemy. Oh, I walked right into him. This is my fault. I have no one to blame but me for this. Oh, and I'm running straight into more of them. Oh, my... This situation is bound to become fun very, very shortly. Hello! Painty faced nudie men and also nudie woman, just so you don't think that I've forgotten you. That's right, hunch over and stare at me. I'm inside of your domicile. I am in your territory. And what do you. I peed right over there on that bush because I had to go. Nature called, and you were not there to stop me. Nature had a megaphone. And that was the only way that I was turning that thing off. It was making that screechy noise, too. I hate it when you get feedback on the megaphone. You're like, like that thing that's really, really loud. I wish I could pick up some rocks right now. That would be stellar. Where did I even get coins from? I'm not even sure I ever picked up coins to begin with. If I could pick up some rocks right now, I would be so happy. Because then I could make an axe that actually chops trees down. How many sticks am I carrying? I mean, on the plus side, my sticks have bugged out, which makes my life a little bit easier. Maybe I should try and... Maybe my rocks are invisible in my inventory? I don't know. Let me try and see if I can fix this somehow. Oh good, more cannibals. Well. Since we appear to be running straight into the maw of destruction here, and that thing hasn't used a breath mint in quite some time, I think what we should probably do... Let me put down a fire and see if there's some way to fix this problem, because the fire requires a bunch of rocks, and so if the fire requires stones... I think I may be able to eliminate a little bit of the stress of this situation by fixing myself here. Let's see. I'm going to go back to... Wait, what does the fish thing do? A rabbit cage. Oh, it's food. Okay. Well, seeing as... what? Was, oh, yeah, I needed a fire. I've already forgotten what I was working on. It's the curse of being Splattercat. My brain is just like, ying! It runs like a dirt bike, basically, all the time, and so it gets very confusing. Ah, so there are invisible stones in my inventory. It fixed it! Hooray! I was wondering if that would do it. I'm gonna finish the campfire over here because I'm a completionist, and I like to do those things that I set out to do. There we go, so a campfire. Set this thing on fire. Maybe it'll act as a decoy or something. And then we will walk very, very slowly back towards the base because I'm feeling sort of lethargic right now. My character has gone like two days without watching television or being on the internet. He's feeling very, very drained. He's like Superman without the sun right now. And it's very, very disappointing. I wish I could loot this big rock and put this big rock on a stick and then run around like some kind of Resident Evil bad guy beating guys to death with my giant stick maul. But unfortunately, that option is not available to us. And so we shall not think about it too much, lest we become depressed and throw ourselves from the Jarl's Maw. I'm gonna go down this way? Sticks, you may join me. Oh my, I just fell through the collision. That's a little terrifying. Is this a cave over here? Is that why I fell through? Oh, there is. I'm not sure I want to know what's in here. Let's have a look. Are these icicles or are these stalactites? So in case you don't know, just in case you never know whether to call something as a stalactite or a stalagmite, I'm going to help you out because I'm a geologist in real life. Stalactites hang from the ceiling. They hang on tight so that they don't fall. Whereas stalagmites are on the floor and so you might stub your toe on them. Oh good. All caves of friendliness are marked with skulls with impaled gin bottles in the top of their heads. There has never been an unfriendly cave that has been... I think I made a mistake. Let's leave. I don't want any part of this. I don't want to be involved in whatever social activities are taking place in this cave. And right about now, you can reasonably assume like all of their friends are going to come home and be like, Hey, what's up, man? 
We chased that guy through the hills for a while, but we just couldn't find him, bro. I don't know what happened, but he just disappeared. He's like a ghost or something. I don't know. He looks delicious, though. Like a delicious ghost. A ghost made out of taffy or something, but we just can't catch him. He's slippery. He's real slippery. And that's saying something because we cover ourselves in flammable oil on a daily basis. So we know a thing or two about slippery. And I'd be like, yeah, well, I learned everything that I know from the Patriot. God, I haven't watched that movie in a really, really long time. That's one of those films that I just haven't sat down and watched in many, many of the year. If you ever want to see a guy get wrecked with tomahawks, that is the film to watch. Either that or Last of the Mohicans. That's a pretty good film to watch for a lot of the tomahawk wreckage, too. People going crazy with the tomahawks in those films. I need more rocks. Hold on here. Give me some of these and you right there. Oh, good. There's dinner running away in a sort of suspicious fashion. Well, not really suspicious, more like panic and terrified, I guess. Since we have no devices, which we can light on fire, I think since our inventory is being cleared out every single time that we play, we're very shortly going to be in a situation where the sustainable model is one that's going to become very, very important to us. We want to make sure that... I mean, we're right next to a location where we can refill on food fairly easily, just blackberries everywhere. So I'm not too worried about our food situation. Still, we want to make sure that we're not relying on anything crafted too much. I'm glad we used all of our Molotovs in the last episode because they didn't go to waste. If they had vanished this time around, I'd be very, very disappointed because I enjoy setting things on fire. It's one of those pastimes that has served me well. It has not made... It's put me on a government list. I will admit that freely right here and up front. You may see my face at a post office. Don't be alarmed. I made sure to smile in the photo just to make it seem a bit more friendly. Will you guys stop just, like, hanging out around my base, please? They're like, well, you built it right in our backyard, man. We don't really have a choice. We're trying to have a barbecue, and you're just in the way. You were on our patio. This is our deck, and you were just ruining it with your shabby self. Like, whoa, calling the names here. You don't got to call me shabby. I mean, I agree. It's been a couple days since I bathed, but I don't necessarily think that you guys are the sterling example of cleanliness either. Let's lay down another wall here to keep our foes out. The first time I saw the word foes was when I played Toki on Nintendo. I didn't even know the word foes was a thing until I played Toki. And then when I was a small child, I learned the meaning of the word foe. Although not foe as in fake. That word's a giant. It's kind of interesting. Well, I didn't mean to light the fire right there. But whatever. We'll light the fire. Because we can. Because we have the lighter. We have the mystical fire starter. It'd be kind of funny if that's why they're trying to kill us. They don't even want to eat us. They basically just want our lighter. They think it's some awesome device that's going to make their lives easier. It runs out of butane like an hour later. I'm like, well, that was time well spent. We've only been chasing this guy through the forest for the last, like, two weeks trying to steal his butane lighter. I love the smell of butane, by the way. It's great. It is great. I could sit there just sniffing my Zippo all day. Just, ah. Unfortunately, that is bad for my brain cells, which might explain why I have trouble keeping thoughts in a concurrent linear fashion. That might explain it. Are they over there still? Are they still trying to make my life difficult? I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And we are almost sealed in from the threats outside. Almost. Almost. We're not quite there, but I do have a... Ooh, we have mud. Hello. All right. So we're cold and wet, but we are covered in mud. It's the mud of insulation. It's magical mud. Magical mud of warmth. The next time you're cold, slather yourself in mud. I promise it'll work. And send me pictures. I totally won't post them on Instagram. I don't even have an Instagram. It's like the one social media that I refuse to participate in. It's just a place to post pictures of your food, as far as I can tell. That and Tumblr. Grab these. I'm almost out of energy, so we may have to go nap time soon. We may need a little bit of sleepy by to get us through, but for the moment, I'm going to finish this wall off first. Pretty soon, we're going to start booby trapping things, but I want to get ourselves inside of our own little area so that we can duck and cover if we need to. We can make like a turtle named Bert and duck and cover. There we go. Let's take a nap real fast in our mini shelter in the back since that's the only one that saves. And now that it's morning, we'll have a quick look-see around. I don't see anybody on the prowl just yet. The cannibals are like, listen, we're not prowling. This is the normal walk. 
We are not that worried about you. We are not moving around in a stealthy fashion because we know we already have you handled. I'm like, whoa, that's being a little bit overconfident, don't you think? I mean, I'm not so sure that you can take me. I have built these super awesome technological walls. Do you have any walls around your village? Like, no, but we have these big sheets of grass that we can lay over our roof. You don't have those. I'm like, yeah, good point. Good point. I can't make those awesome frameworks that you have on your TPs either. Go that way. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Not that way. I should have known that was going to happen. Because reasons. Because the physics. But I've disregarded the natural laws and almost paid for it with my super valuable life. I mean, because I think my life is super valuable. Other people might not agree, but, you know, we all set the standard for our own existence. And I prefer to aim high if I'm gonna in the first place. These red ones, I think, are bad for you. Oh, never mind. That's just dandelions. I eat you. Everything that is edible will be eaten in short order. All things considered, we haven't actually run into that much trouble in this episode. I don't know how fast the blueberries regrow. I would assume that this is going to be like a what's an episode thing for us. I will eat some mushrooms, though, to get me by. There we are. And then from there on, we'll... Ignore the pink energizer bunnies hopping around all over the place in the weird way that the entire world has become more colorful. Well. I hear them hollering. But I don't really have a visual contact for the threatening noises that they're making. So I'm going to retreat back towards safety and finish another wall section. God, it still tastes like can of air in here. This is, this is terrible. This is pretty awful. This entire time, I'm going to remember this episode as the episode that tasted like rubber. Which is a weird thing to remember things by taste, but you know, taste and smell are linked. And supposedly, smell is the largest nostalgia generator on the body. Which I agree with. Sometimes I smell things, for example... For example, a poor ejemplo. My cat jumped up on my lap earlier today, and she smelled like these styrofoam blocks that I used to have. Ah! Is he completely nude? He's not even wearing anything. What in the hell? <laughs> Get away from me, wiener man. I want nothing to do with you. Oh, and now you're on fire. That's what you get. Are you wearing a skin suit? He's not even... I don't even think he's nude. I think he has a skin suit on. He doth. He doth bear the skin suit. Oh, there it is. So now he has clothing. Still. I am covered in blood. I didn't even murder a guy, and I'm covered in blood. Somebody had mentioned in the comments in the previous video that being covered in blood was a bad thing. Because it makes the enemy find you. And so I'm going to take that advice to heart. And I'm going to swim in some water. And maybe this will solve my problem. Can you drown, by the way? Is that like a thing that can happen? I'm still covered in blood. Well, that swim didn't work. This water is defective. It's not functioning at the operational level that I require. And now I've got more cannibals running around. Although I don't think that they've seen me. I think that they're just kind of sprinting around the forest. These cannibals have a strong esteem for aerobic health. You might notice that about them. They are excited about being fit and in shape. Extend out my wall one more time. There we go. And so there's going to be a plan right here that I'm going to put into motion. And you will see what it is, but it involves fire, and it involves flammable enemies, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to allow me to survive long periods of time. After that, oh, I lost all my circuitry. I wonder if it's back on the plane. If everything respawned, I wanted to make IEDs and show you guys how to use the bombs and the explosives. Unfortunately, if the, IE, if the circuitry doesn't respawn on the plane, 
I also don't remember where the plane was, so I'm gonna have to watch the- I'm gonna make this plane right now, no. We're gonna have to watch the previous episode one more time, and by we, I mean me all by my lonesome. I'm gonna have to watch the previous episode over again and figure out where the plane was at so I can go back and find it, assuming it's even still there. With all the weird wonky stuff that occurs when you load your game, I don't even know. Things might just be moving around. I've also heard that the bad guys will put up these little effigies now around your base once they found you. I don't know if that's true or not, or if it's just hearsay. One of the things I do actually like to this about this game that adds to the mystique is that there's all these weird rumors flying around in this game right now that like none of them can be confirmed. Some of them are fact and some of them are fiction. Where people are like, oh yeah dude, if you stand in this corner and you jump three times and like crazy stuff will happen. I tried to wash the blood off. Stop looking at your hand. It's probably because of all those mushrooms I ate in all honesty. No, my stone axe is gone. My axe on a stick has vanished. My dead guy is still here, though. You've got to keep the important things around. You got to keep the important things around. Where did my logs go? I feel like logs are just vanishing on me. That tree is immune, so there's nothing I can do to him or her or it or whatever it is. I'm going to chop this tree down, I guess, and that'll be our final tree for the episode. I'll go back and save, and I might as well do my closing arguments right now. Well, my closing spiel. So you there, tree, you will fall in the forest, and I will hear the sound of your death. Down he goes, and sticks are flying everywhere. Grab that, head on back, and so my name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of The Forest. I like this game a lot, regardless of how buggy it is, I really do enjoy this game. It is ridiculously fun. Oh good, I can cover myself in mud again. Covered in mud, sounds like a grunge band. Covered in mud. Anyways, thank you for joining me here for another episode of The Forest. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I don't know how long we're going to play this game with our items and things despawning. It becomes a little bit cumbersome to play. But I will kind of venture out and I will venture to continue playing the game for as long as people are still finding it enjoyable. I mean, I'll probably do 10, 15 episodes. That seems to be about the sweet spot until they patch it up again. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and I do.